Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation with Kristen. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about money and funds to close. So this has been a really big topic lately because people are really, they have to have everything and they have to have all the quote unquote skin in the game, right? So not only do they need their down payment, they also need their closing costs. They need to set up an escrow account, pay for one year of insurance. And then also right now, a lot of times they need an appraisal gap. Putting all those funds together can be somewhat tough sometimes. So people are getting creative with using their funds, right? And sometimes they're even leaning on their family members for a gift or mom, dad, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, it doesn't matter who, as long as it's a blood relative may say, you know what, I wanna pitch in and help, okay? And that's totally fine. Conventional, govy loans, it doesn't matter, gifts can be used, okay? Now, some of the important things to remember is that when you're using a gift, on a conventional loan, we will need a gift letter, okay? With that gift letter, the giftor has to be willing to tell us their name, address, phone number, even the last four of the bank statement, um, account number that the money's coming from, and then they can simply write a cashier's check to the title company for closing. It can be that easy. Now, for government loans, okay? We need the gift letter signed by all parties with all that same information, but we're also going to need the gifter's bank statement to prove that they gave you the money, okay? Some of the things I'm seeing right now where people are like, hey, I gave so-and-so some cash and they paid me back. Guys, it doesn't work that way. We don't know where that money's coming from. And here's some of the things. It's not because we necessarily want to be super nosy about it. There is a rhyme to our reason, okay? And here's what they are. One, we need to make sure that the funds are coming from a qualifiable source, meaning a blood relative. We also have to make sure that those funds are coming from the gifter, meaning that it's not a loan. There isn't a price to repay that, okay? If it is a loan, we need to incorporate that into your debt to income ratio. If it's a gift, it should just be what we call a gift. It shouldn't be a loan. There should be no willingness or have to repay, all right? Second, we need to make sure that there's not a large deposit coming from somewhere, an unknown source. Let's say a friend, let's say a friend of a friend, let's say a cash store, let's say a credit card advance. Those are not qualifiable funds. So unless we confirm where those funds came from, we can't use them and that's why. The reality is we wanna make sure that you're protected as a borrower, not because we're trying to be a big pain in the you know what. Also, with that being said, they do use this as a way to watch for money laundering. Now, that might sound funny because you or somebody you know may be like, money laundering, what? But the reality is, is it does happen, and it has happened, which is why we now have to watch for all of this. These are all tactics that have been put in place because somebody tried something at one time they shouldn't have and got caught. Okay, so uh, while it's not fun and it can be a little bit of a headache, it's really important that you know that if you're getting a gift, what that looks like, what we will need to give that gift or to use that gift towards your funds to close, or we simply can't use it. Now, if you're trying to sell something to use, that can be okay. Talk to your lender, but let's say it's a car. We're going to need the um, proof of what the value was. We're going to need the receipt of payment. We're going to need to show that there's no lien attached to that vehicle anymore. We're going to need a lot of stuff. We're going to need the paper trail of that car sale. We can't just say, oh, they sold their car and here's $5,000 cash and that's what it is. I wish it worked like that. Sometimes it would be easier on all of us, but it doesn't. So just make sure if you're trying to combine funds to get your down payment, closing costs, an appraisal gap, whatever it is together to do this, that you're really talking to your lender about it so that they can help guide you. It's always tough when you just do something assuming it's okay, and then we have to come back and tell you, sorry, it doesn't work like this, or now we need this, or now we need this, and then it can be frustrating on you. Believe me, we don't want that. So just please come to us if there's anything like that of any large deposit, gift, selling an item, whatever. We do know that there's a lot of money that needs to come to closing on a lot of these transactions right now. So it's important that we work together as your advocate and as your team player to make sure that we're making it as easy on you as possible. If you have any questions about this, a gift or any funds to close, 
Drop your comments below or feel free to reach out. My contact information is also below. My name is Kristen. I'm with Guaranteed Rate. I am happy to help get you set up for your home loan. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.